Uh, to take a look at the ICG report, the fate of the Cameroons as predicted by or suggested by the ICG. According to reports from CNA, the International Crisis Group has issued a statement highlighting concerns about the political landscape in La Republic du Cameroon. If President Paul Bia, who is now 91, loses his grip on power, the ICG suggests that potential divisions within the ruling party, possibly along ethnic lines, could destabilize the nation, leading to significant unrest. The ICG statement also pointed to the nation's fragile economic situation that has been exacerbated by rising food and fuel prices as a factor that could heighten tensions. These economic pressures might lead to widespread protests and demands for a political transition fueled by electoral campaigns and inflammatory discourse on social media. The ICG speculated the International Crisis Group speculated that if the issue of Bia's succession escalates into a broader struggle for political and economic power, existing ethnic tensions could worsen, potentially spreading conflict from the periphery to the heart of the country. This instability could also lead to a resurgence of, quote, um, resurgence of activities by the Amazonian movement, including those linked um, to the southern Cameroons, which would have devastating consequences for humanitarian efforts and basic human rights, such as access to education. Well, these are theories that has been suggested that one reason President Paul Bia remains in power is due to concerns from external powers, such as France about La Republic du Cameroon's future without him. This concern seemed to revolve around finding a leader who can be trusted to maintain the interest of these um, foreign countries like France. The interest of the International Crisis Group in this matter raises important questions. One notable observation is the growing sentiment among some ethnic groups like the Bamilikis who believe that they deserve a chance to lead the country. This has contributed to a power struggle with different factions including the Bulubeti group, the Nortoners as well who feel sidelined and betrayed looking at the election from um, Amadou Ahidjo and Beggar Pardon, and other groups all vying for influence in the 2025 elections. While well, the political landscape in La Republic du Cameroon is complex and, of course, fraught with uncertainty. The ongoing conflict in Amazonia has severely impacted the nation's economy, and there are concerns that any instability in Yaoundé could further weaken the government's hold on the southern Cameroon's region that has either civil war military takeover or any significant unrest were to occur in La Republic du Cameroon. Such a scenario could force the government to divert its focus from Amazonia that it is trying to annex and potentially giving the Amazonian freedom fighters an opportunity to advance their cause and gain territory, more territory over their sovereign land. Well, the question remains whether external powers, particularly France, are prepared for such a scenario. The International Crisis Group's prediction highlights the precarious future of La Republic du Cameroon and the deep uncertainty surrounding the relationship between La Republic du Cameroon and Amazonia, two nations forced to coexist under increasingly difficult circumstances. While well, the International Crisis Group statement underscores the complex and uncertain future that lies ahead for La Republic du Cameroon as the nation approaches a potential transition in leadership. The various power struggles and the ongoing war in Amazonia adds layers of complexity to an already volatile situation. As the 2025 election approaches, the world will be watching closely to see how La Republic du Cameroon navigates this period of potential upheaval and whether stability can be maintained in the face of so many challenges or will it be the turning point where it loses its grip even more over the southern Cameroon's sovereign territory.